recording? Okay. Hey, this is Dave Girard from uh, Junksbury Games, and we're showing off our pre-production copy for Tyler Simmons Crows. We ended up getting this uh, a little while ago, but we wanted to show you guys what we thought of it uh, as a team and what we told the company that's going to be manufacturing it. So, first of all, a big thing for us is that we want to make sure that the quality of everything is very high. It's definitely what we're all about, and on our previous games, you've seen the same type of thing. So, um, with our box, you can kind of see, I don't know if you can absolutely see it, but the, str the strength of the box is very good. Um, the company that we deal with is, is Panda Marketing, or Penta Games Marketing, um, and they do a great job with the quality of everything, and the box is obviously the first start. So here we have our rule book. Um, you can see here, uh, the book is something like around 16 pages, 10 pages, 12 pages, and we have all the rules set up in here. We kept it the same colored thing that we have for the, throughout the game where everything's black, white, and red. All the red sections are, are examples, but the rules are laid out really well. We like how uh, the, all the colors pop. The one thing that we had from this was, uh, as a question for the company, if you can kind of see it in the light as I, sw um, as I go through the pages, the, there's a little bit of a like ripple effect on the, the print on the paper. And so when I asked them about that, they said that basically they use a completely different pair from this. If you remember from Bride of the Queen, uh, our previous game, the exact same thing happened, but our, our final actual, you know, uh, manufactured copies don't have this problem and the paper is perfect for it. So we're not worried about that, um, but it was just something to just kind of know if you see it in the video. Uh, here's all of our pre-production uh, tiles. You can kind of see that the, 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 these are laser printed, which is not how it will be in the actual, um, the actual end, end uh, product. So. The reason why they do it this way is because they actually hand cut these. They just laser cut them really quick, but the um, manufactured set will actually be uh, like a lot tighter. There won't be these weird holes in there, and everything will be more uniform and better. The exact same thing happened in our previous game. So again, we're not worried about that. But what this is actually showing us is what all of them, uh, what, what they're all going to look like, and then also just making sure that everything is there. So you know, we have um, we have seven different punch boards here, and so. We had to make sure that each one was obviously there. And then if you can kind of see on this one, we put in a, um, a spot UV on some of the um, points of the cards, I mean, sorry, of the tiles, just kind of point out what uh, those, those special spots. And we just kind of, we really like how that turned out. Uh, this was something that we added during the campaign. We weren't sure if we we're gonna keep it or not, but once we got it in hand, we definitely liked that. All right, so then uh, we've got our four character cards. We wanted to make these a little bit larger size so we can show off Justin's art. And um, they basically just have the, the four colors of the characters that you can play in the game. So, you know, yellow, green, blue, and purple are the colors that you pick um, in the same way that you do um, with your mana totem. And then all these are double-sided, and they have male and female characters on each side. Again, with Justin's art. And you basically, very simply, just put that in front of yourself when, when the game starts. And we wanted to make sure that we use a good card quality. Um, and we're very happy with how these turned out and exactly how all the, the color scheme works for it as well. All right, and then we've got our spell cards here. Very simple, small deck. We didn't want to make these really large cards um, where you know your whole hand would be just kind of overtaken by them. We wanted them to be just kind of this really simple thing that you can just kind of put off to the side. So we made these smaller size cards. They show off Justin's art really well. Um, the Everything works for this really well. And you can kind of see again uh, in the manufacturer, this is the, again, this is a pre-production copy. So, you can kind of tell that there's a, this is a little offset, but these are hand cut. So in the actual final copy, they'll be a lot tighter and there won't be any um, lopsided cards. We're pretty confident that those worked out. Again, we were given these just to kind of verify that all the numbers are correct and that the colors are correct, and we love these. All right, then we've got our mana totems plus our queen crow. The mana totems are actually mana resin, which we which we weren't actually planning on initially doing, but they were when they were wood, the cut didn't really look very good. And also these being resin have a better feel to them when you put them on the board and you put them on your spot. And these are the um, the, the tokens that represent you know where your character is. Um, this is one of the, the queen crow. That is uh, the red crow model that's used for um, special rules. She's worth more and everything like that. So those turned out really great and we're really happy with those. Again, we're really happy with the color of those as well. And then we've got our crows. 
in our little bag. The bag will be coming to everybody as well. And then all of our crow meeples, these turned out amazing. We're really happy with how they turned out. They stand really easily and they just look great. <clears throat> what do we got here? There's your set of four there. And, um, and you know, they're, they're great thickness. You can absolutely stack them onto a, uh, a tile and have a bunch on there and it's, it doesn't really get in the way. It's just, it's really perfect and everything really looks great. So um, then we have, very simply, this is not the most exciting thing, but we've got our insert we're really happy with. Uh, the insert, all the tiles, the individual tiles will actually fit in there. Um, I have one tile set out here if I can find it really quick. Actually, let me just punch one out. So let me punch one of these tiles out here and you can see what I'm talking about. All right, so the tiles will actually fit perfectly in there so that you know you can end up stacking them all up here really easily and then once you keep all of your um once you get all your uh meeples your pro meeples all set up in here you know the bag just very simply fits in there right with everything else and the cards fit in there as well and so we just want to make sure that obviously everything fits in there we just we're going really simple um with the uh with the insert but it, it works perfectly and it, it looks great um and then of course we got our back of the box um Travis Torgerson did a really great job making sure everything is distinct and um, you know conveys what we wanted to convey with the game. So anybody who turns it over in a game store can see what's going on as well. And everything turned out really great here. All the colors are perfect in our pre-production copy and it's all set. Um, now, the one thing that I would mention that if you are one of our backers that's got the deluxe version of the game, um, then you're gonna get everything I just showed you. Plus we have a little extra here. Let me get rid of this stuff real quick. And our extras for the deluxe copy were our sleeve that actually goes over the whole box. So we created this limited edition sleeve that has Justin's uh, Nightfall art on it. And you can see, very simply, this is just a box top, but you know, you understand. Um, the whole thing just kind of goes in there. It looks really nice. Uh, it also has uh, our Junk Spirit Games logo on the back, plus individual numbering for each, um, for each backer as well. Uh, and then in the deluxe copy also you'll get um, the deluxe rules just a simple one sheet that shows you everything that all the extra components will be used for uh, there's a there's a whole section for a solo rules variant and then also some uh, some extra crows uh, the king of the trickster and the familiars that you can use in any one of your games uh, to kind of just add some extra variety to it and then obviously very simply the extra uh, crows that come with that. So these are the same crows that, the, that are in the original game, but obviously they're colored differently to denote that they're special. Um, and then also the, the red um, solo token that you can use. And that's pretty much everything. We're gonna do a video for the coins as a separate thing, but if you're in the deluxe uh, backers, you'll be getting coins as well. Thank you.